Beatle lovers, I'm back again. Yes, sorry, it was a long time since I uploaded my last video, but from now on, I hope I can regularly post some new things here in the Beatle Breeding channel that is growing and growing thanks to you. It's great to see that a lot of uh, people out in the world are interested in the topic of breeding beetles and uh, other insects. So today I just want to check one or two boxes together with you to see whether we have success with the breeding. One is the Gideon sumatrensis. It's a species that from now on I will use for a project, for a scientific project, also together with the Zurich University of Applied Sciences in Werdenswil, Switzerland. The uh, project is called Food from Wood. If you are googling uh, or, or searching in, the, in YouTube, you will find some videos about this uh, topic. Food from Wood is a project to reorganize the decomposing process of plant waste material like rotten wood, rotten uh, leaves, all that waste material from plants with the help of edible insects. So that's the um, the process of decomposing plant material is for the first time also a process to produce food or feed for other animals, fishes, chicken or uh, whatever. So this uh, Xylotrupus gideon is one of our test organisms for this process and uh, that's why I'm breeding them now to making a bigger production with them and to research the life cycle of these animals and uh, all the input output of uh, processing with food from wood. So this is a box actually uh, prepared by Etienne two months ago and um, if we look at it um, we see that the substrate is really ha is half the uh, volume as it was at the beginning that the beetle jellies here are practically all empty five pieces. Also there are some blocks of wood here and here we see the remains of the female here and of course I hope that she, she laid some eggs also. I have six more of these um, females and they laid at together around 200 uh, Larvas, they are already in the stage of L1, uh, L2, and now let's see whether we have find some traces of larvas in this box too. From from the top, it doesn't look like if there would be something in it because normally, if there are a lot of larvas, you see on the surface of the substrate already the also the the pellets the fresh pellet. So here I don't see them, so it could be that we don't find any larvas in this box. It would be the only one that has no uh, egg positioning here. can be sometimes that the females are not fertilized when we put them into the uh, box and then of course uh, they can oviposite eggs, yes, but they are then not fertilized and we don't see any uh, larvas. So let's go through it uh, a little bit faster like this, just but here we can see with one with one take whether we have some larvas or not and now look here we see already one here it's an L2 stage Xylotropes Gideon Sumatrensis It's a bit too heavy light here. Probably it's just better like this, huh? that you can see the, the larva here. It's not huge, it's not a, a huge one. Uh, it's about, yeah. It's in L2 stage now at about two and a half centimeters long. Let's go back with you more, more here. This is an L1 here. Yeah, they are pretty small compared to the L2 stage. This is L1 stage. And then we see some earthworms here. That's not a good sign. Normally we don't like them 
in the substrate, but um, it's difficult to avoid them. Uh, mostly they are here with the, all the other insects. So two would be very little amount. Of, let's go carefully through the whole substrate so we see whether we find more than two. Uh, what is one freshly molded to L2? Now uh, that we see here, because the head capsule is pretty big compared to the body and also the color is orange, meaning that it was freshly molded afterwards, it's becoming uh, dark brown or black. Uh, another one, the substrate seems to me a little too dry, so probably for the next stage we will make it a little more wet, also an L2 stage here a little bit bigger. So we already have four and now I'm, I will put them in a, in a box so they... Yeah, a little bit too dry the substrate here. Sometimes maybe this also um, causes a problem for the female and then she sometimes she stops laying eggs because she feels that it's uh, too dry for their offspring. So she waits and waits and waits, and if she's waiting too long, uh, it can be that she is dead before she laid all the eggs that are prepared in her body for laying. There is another one. This is already a bigger L2 stage larva. So there are some, but not many. The, the, the female with the biggest amount had 78 offsprings. That, um, that's really nice and big amount of of Xylotropes Gideon sumatrans. This is the biggest subspecies of this fighting beetle. Yeah, you, if you want to see how the fighting goes on with them, you go to the other video about the city of Pua, where there's a, an annual festival uh, with the Gideon a beetle in the center of the festivities. There's another one here. Yeah, we already have 10 now. But it's becoming a better amount. But 10 is very little for a for a fully grown female of Xylotrupes gideon. Now I would guess if the substrate is okay there should be an average of 30 per uh, female. So I have to re-wet the substrate a little bit here, but all in all it is not bad substrate. Also here I've seen something, this is another L1. They, they are little in here. Others in the, from the same time, uh, they are already in the big L2 stage, so it seems that this female waited a long Till she laid her eggs, is a L2 stage, freshly molded here. Yeah, so that's about the Gideon beetles. What I do is I'm just putting them back to the original box with a little wet material on the top, or I just put in some uh, water because the the substrate itself is very good. It's finely grinded. It has a good structure. And I think they will love it when they grow. Thanks for watching.